What is going on guys, Jesse504 here, bringing you week 2 of my LBT league. Um, Just a quick note is that the battle for the league, the recording messed up and it was just like an all around ugly battle from my side, I didn't really like it. I wasn't really in the mood to re-record it so I lost 1-0 off of kind of just a little bit of bad luck and then showdown messing up my EVs which was really annoying. But anyways, let's get into this feature match. Where we got the German Golisopods up against the Ancient Absols, and this week I will start off with the Poke Pastes. So, coming from the Absol side, we got Magnazone, which is a fairly um, just max defense. I assume it's meant to kind of fight the Kartana, but even still, Kartana still just puts in work against it, does a lot. Kartana's not really one of those deals that you really want to trap it, and you don't have a really strong special move to try to just Oko it. And up next is the Chandelure, Shadow Ball, Fire Blast, Psychic, Memento. But I don't really know on this team what you want a Memento into because there just isn't really just like this big setup sweeper, I guess, maybe the Magnazone. But that thing, just one special attack later can come and get it because it's not running any investment. And its Spadef is like okay, but raw, it's not the best. And so, I don't know, I feel like that kind of could have been better if it was just like a Scarfer to try to just put in work because it has a really good matchup as a Scarfer although at the same time it doesn't even have the greatest matchup because of the um, because of the fish and just the rain presence oh Magnazone could trap Ferrothorn but still body press even if it gets set up really high Ferrothorn can start whittling it down with Leech Seed although it could throw up a substitute I guess this set can work against Ferrothorn, but it's kind of iffy. So that's the Magnazone set I messed up. Sorry. Um, Alolan Muck. This is a really good bring, I thought. Um, one thing that I'm kind of iffy on is like a little no Thunder Punch and instead choosing Crunch. Crunch is kind of weird here. Thunder Punch is really good for the um, Pelipper. Also, you could run Fire Punch, I'm pretty sure this thing gets for the two Grass Steals that both don't want to take those fire moves. But instead, choosing to run um, Double Dark Stab, I don't think was necessary. And up next, Vaporeon. Um, nice, just good against Fish, good against Darm, I see why it was brought. This is one thing like, yeah, I don't think you should change the setup any really at all. Maybe Toxic could have been helpful to try to whittle down the fish and whittle down the darn because Scald barely touches fish and it does okay damage against darn but not the best. And I don't really think Heal Bell was too necessary because Luke's team, I guess, a little bit of burn from the Mega Bayonet and a little bit of Toxic from like the Ferrothorn, but its status wasn't really there too much. The Garchomp, pretty solid Scarf Garchomp. Uh, this is a bring that I really like here. Just a way to hit the entire team hard. One thing that I'm kind of iffy on is why Dragon Claw instead of Outrage, although he does have some solid Outrage things that just will sit there. And But the Fairy type isn't that great, so it's kind of like give or take. But it's a solid bring. And then... Fire Blast there is nice tech. Um, Oko's the Kartana does big damage to the Ferrothorn. Does just a great matchup. I really like. And then the Hitmon on top. Um, this is again something that I'm not really sure about. Um, just kind of, it just kind. I mean, like I guess it's good against some of the walls, but like the Cart can pack um, Psycho Cut to do a lot of damage. So like, this prep is solid, but I feel like it's definitely something that can be improved on and refined a little bit. And up next for Luke's team, we got um, an interesting set of mons this week. Um, Dracovish is standard. Darm is standard. Not really much to talk about. Um, good brings, I feel. Earthquake on the fish was really solid because Magnazone's a thing, and just having EQ to deal big damage to that is really nice. Um, and what's really smart from Luke's perspective is he doesn't bring any steals, so the Magnazone, its ability ended up just being useless. Could have benefited a little more from something like Analytic. 
Um, Luke has two Tailwind Muns that are Sash Tailwind so they can easily get up the Tailwind. But I don't really know how necessary the Tailwind is looking at this team. It's kind of slow. So just having Tailwind for fish. If you look at it, the only thing that outspeeds is the Chomp. But you don't really want to stay in with fish on chomp anyways. And then you have the dragon pull to just do big damage to the chomp anyways. So I don't really see why double sash tailwind was really necessary. Although I guess it's a solid bring seeing as scarf chomp was there. But like if it was any set other than scarf chomp I don't think you needed that much. And you're running DD pulled anyways. So something like that. And then but other than that memento here is really I like this memento as opposed to the other one because this memento goes into the dragapult that can just set up dragon dances and win. So this is the sets and I will see you guys in the battle. Alrighty, yeah. Looking at team preview personally, what I would lead from Luke's side is just a nice Darmanitan. It's just gonna hit hard no matter what. That's kinda what I would see. And then from Fujiki's side I think Scarf Chomp is the right lead, just threaten to kill or do heavy damage to anything. So let's see what they actually decide to lead with. And it is the Darm versus the Muck, which I think is a pretty solid counter lead, although Darm could be er, packing Earthquake. And then a Crash here just does a lot, although I maybe just would have U-turned. And yeah, one thing to note is that this draft battle really doesn't look like an Ubers. Um... That's kind of an unfortunate crit burn on the Pelipper, kind of the worst thing that could have happened. Allows the Vaporeon to come in and two hit KO this thing, which is quite unfortunate for the Pelipper. Although the confusion kind of helps. Still able, this Vaporeon is the hacks god. Able to hit through that. And then, so yeah, I guess not really the greatest for Luke. Although the f this week the rain doesn't matter too much. And then Mega Bayonet is solid. Just protect is a solid scout move here. Knock off, yeah, just solid versatility. And now Mega Bayonet has really high attack stats, so that's something to note. The Scald does a lot, doesn't burn this time. Knock off doesn't even kill. So now this Mega Bayonet, let's see, it decides to Destiny Bond, give itself up. Um, I think that Dracovish is kind of a risk, but it's also kind of a risk worth taking. Because Scald barely tickles it, and as long as you don't get burned, then you're fine. Um, and now we're just in the same spot again. This time crashes, the Muck lives, and the Muck can knock off the Scarf. And now the Darm can pretty freely just U-turn out or do what it needs to do. It decides to crash here. So now it could Flare Blitz here. That could be a solid option, or just hard switch out. I assume that the calc was there. Um, and yeah, this is kind of where the Magnazone wanted to be. And then the sub is really able to just do a lot for this Magnazone as it's able to really just get set up and get going. However, we saw the set and it can't touch Dragapool at all. So Darm, I think, is a solid switch here. It doesn't give it, like the sub still wouldn't be gone no matter what. So just Darm, U-turn. U-turn I don't really think was the right play here personally. Because now this sub still chilling. And now this Magnazone can pretty freely just set up on this Whimsicott. Because this Whimsicott has really showed no way to touch it. In the Magnazone, going for the second Toxic, I thought was a little bit greedy. You could just set up more Iron Defenses, because beyond this Whimsicott, um, this thing can't really touch Pult, but like beyond this Whimsicott, there really isn't anything to do. Oh, and then one thing, uh, this Magnazone was brought to you by Sir Kill, so just give him quick credit for that. Now Flare Blitz, but since this thing is set up, doesn't do as much when in reality you could have just flare blitzed from the start and done a lot of damage that was kind of a pretty big misplay from Luke's side but now I'm pretty sure the entire set is calculated and Pult is pretty free I would have personally set up here to be honest 
instead choosing to go for the Draco. Draco is a solid bring, but now, let's see, decides to Dragon Dance here. Um, just Dragon Darts. Yeah, this Dragapult is really solid. Although now that the um, now this Chomp comes in, but I don't know why it would come in because even Scarfed it does a lot of damage. And like the thing is plus one speed, so it'll outspeed. And now choosing to set up in front of the Chandelure, I don't agree with that play. But now here comes the fish. Oh, misclick. That makes more sense. Choosing to KO the Chandelure, and now there really just isn't anything left for the fish. This thing is crazy. Dracovish, even in Ubers. Showing why it's just so great and in draft league. And now, even intimidated, that does 93%. But yeah, this was just a nice back and forth game. There were some, a decent amount of misplays, I feel. Although, I can't really be talking. But it's a game really good to learn from. There was like kind of a bunch of kind of like less experienced mistakes that could have easily been avoided and if they were avoided I think this was a different game um so some highlights of this week uh highlights this set um the dragapult um I feel like it kind of just swept or did a lot even because there wasn't a phantom force switch in even though it did take two turns um but then the toxic would have gotten it so maybe just darting the chandelure it would have done a lot I don't know if it would have KO'd but it could have and then um, when he DD'd on accident, that was kind of, I'm not calling that a misplay, that was just a misclick, but still changes the game a little bit, um, although I think it's just still a 1-0, um, for Dracovish, because there was really, at that point, nothing that it could do, and then, yeah, so Dracovish, once the, um, Vaporeon went down, there just really wasn't any true switching for it, and then the Garchomp obviously went down afterwards but that magnezone was just able to set up for far too long that was something that luke could have avoided so just some great um just a great game each side could have done something a little bit better but still really close game i like to see it and so this is an lbt battle but it wasn't an ubers battle i felt like that's kind of why i decided to feature it it was kind of weird but it was a great watch and until next time Jesse504, out.